Welcome to Experience VCC Fall 2020 edition. My name is uh, Jennifer Giesbrecht. I am from the Marketing and Communications Office here at VCC. Today we're going to be talking about academic upgrading programs. That has to do with anything involving high school or prerequisites that you're going to need for either high school graduation, uh, getting into certain jobs and careers, or getting into college programs, either at VCC or elsewhere. Before I introduce uh, the topics and the presenters, I would like to begin by acknowledging that we are on the unceded territory of the Coast Salish people. We're on the traditional home of the Squamish, Musqueam, and Tsleil-Waututh nations, and we thank them for their generosity and letting us live and learn on their land. So in this session, you're going to hear about adult basic education first. Um, uh, and specifically the youth programs. I believe these are programs for youth aged 15 to 18 or thereabouts. And uh, these are programs to help students who maybe have struggled in high school or not finished high school uh, learn in a supportive atmosphere uh, with VCC instructors. Uh, the second topic we'll, we'll cover is college and career access. Uh, so these are self-paced programs covering those high school prerequisites and those types of things that VCC offers. And the final uh, presenter will talk about college foundations. And so those are class-based programs that help you get prerequisites. And after that, we are going to talk to our advisor, Wendy. Um, unfortunately, Wendy's not here, so it's gonna be me. Oh, there you, there's, I thought. <laughs> Sorry, quickly introduce yourself. Hi, um, hi everyone. I'm sorry I'm late. I just um, came back from another uh, info session, but my name is Domingo Salviejo, and I'm one of the six academic advisors at VCC. There you go. All uh, right. Welcome, everyone. Thanks, Domingo. Okay, back to me. After everyone presents a little bit about what they do and their programs, uh, we're going to we're going to talk about talk to Domingo, and uh, after that we're going to have a Q and A time. So, as someone has already done, all you've got to do is put your uh, question in the stream, in the Q and A stream, and uh, it'll take a bit for it to show up probably. But uh, after the presentations, we're going to start addressing those questions. Uh, so if you do maybe think we might answer it before uh, we're done the presentation, save your question for a little bit later to make sure that we see it. Okay. Um, oh, and one last thing I need to tell you. After the presentations and after the q and I'm going to share how to get your 35 up. $35 application fee waived if you apply uh, to a VCC program today. And also I'm going to reveal a special contest code that's going to uh, let you enter to win $1,000 in VCC tuition. So the first topic here will be adult basic education youth programs. That's ABE youth and our presenter is Jillian. Hello, Jillian. Hi, thank you, Jennifer. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, nice to have you here listening. Uh, yes, I work in a program called the ABE Youth Program at VCC. Um, this is a program that supports young people between the ages of 15 and 18 um, to help them with their academic upgrading. So it may not apply to some of you who are here in the audience, but maybe you have a family member or a neighbor who is looking for some different ways of doing their schooling. Um, normally, we would be um, located in a youth center in, in Vancouver, not too far from the Broadway campus of BCC, but currently because of COVID, we are operating remotely and we're offering our program, um, so online supported learning. Um, we are doing as much as we can to help give the support that students need to succeed in these courses that we would typically do in the classroom, but we're um, doing the best we can to replicate that support um, online. So um, what that looks like right now online is that students can come in 
it's still considered a self-paced program. So uh, students are working at their own paces and they're working on primarily grade 10 upgrading um, their academics, <clears throat> pardon me. So for grade 10 math, science, social studies and English. And then we do have a little bit of grade 11 and 12 that a uh, student can take. So we are allowing, they, they're sorry, they work self-paced um, in our supported environment. So they can kind of structure their time a little bit the best they can in terms of what they have going on, but we do ask them to work um, some of their schooling time during a kind of what a regular school day would look like. We do our, we try to replicate a little bit of the high school uh, structure in terms of the, the scheduling just because they might have family members or peers that are in that nine to three system. So that's usually what we're offering for uh, self-paced. Um, let me see what else. Um, so the students that would typically come to our program are students like Jennifer mentioned in the opening who may have had some disruption or interruption in their schooling at some point. So perhaps they're um, just short a course, they need one piece to graduate. Perhaps they've been away from school for a time with something that's happened in their family or an illness or maybe um, just a need that wasn't being met or maybe the timing wasn't right for them. They stepped away to work or something like that. So um, any student who's had any type of disruption in their schooling can come uh, to see us if they're between the ages of 15 and 18. Um, the students can carry on from us. We call it kind of a bridging program. So students can come in, pick up the courses they need, get the, the course, and then they can either transfer back into a high school and carry on to do their high school graduation or they may want to move into the college, uh, continue their programming that way, or go into any other post-secondary programming, um, or maybe a career, maybe they've met the requirements for a career. So they can come in and um, kind of get what they need, get reconnected to their education and then move um, onwards and upwards. Um, let me just think. Um, we have, like I said, lots of support that we're offering. We have small ratios to of students to instructors. So there's always somebody that is available for help. And we are helping them either through email, phone calls, through Moodle, which is our online platform. And we can get creative sometimes and use the tools. I have a little whiteboard that I've held up to the screen to my students to do math problems with. So we're doing as much as we can to uh, make it work to support them in this environment. <clears throat> um, yeah. I think that is it for the moment. Great, any... thanks Jillian. Thank uh, Jillian, sorry. Yes. <laughs> uh, our next presenter will talk about academic upgrading. Um, it's a department we call College and Career Access. So let me introduce KJ Hills. Great. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you to Jill. Uh, Jill had a good explanation of self-paced, and we're normally located at the self-paced department at Broadway, but like ABE youth, because of COVID, we're not, unfortunately, inviting students to come on campus. So we're doing our best to cope in an online or remote environment. I like to say remote because some of the courses are online and some are partially online, but every student is matched up with a homeroom instructor and the, the instructor might be emailing you, Zooming with you, sometimes phoning. At the beginning, we were even using snail mail. We were mailing information out. Um, we haven't seemed to need that as, needed that as much lately because everybody's kind of up to speed with online learning and more remote learning. Um, in self-paced at Broadway, it's grade 10 to grade 12, and we have science, uh, biology, and physics and we have English and math. In the self-paced environment, um, during COVID and not during COVID, we do require all of the students to do an assessment, and that's so that we can place you appropriately. Sometimes students can go quite quickly through a course. That's one element of self-paced. Some students might need more time, but we want to make sure that you get the good grades that you need. Often students are coming to upgrade to get good grades. Maybe they've done certain courses before and they didn't get the grades that they need to be competitive in um, post-secondary. So we're here to support you, which is why we assess you. And, and sometimes you might just 
maybe you've done math 11, but it's so long ago you've kind of forgotten. Like me, I'm a bit like that. Um, but if I did an assessment, I would know what I remembered, what I forgot, and maybe I would only need to do a prep course um, before I go on to my grade 11 course. We also have some specialized programs, um, access to careers in education and computer skills. And again, everything's being offered remotely right now. Um, every student is matched up with a homeroom instructor. I think I mentioned that, that's helping you. Um, it's very individualized, supportive study, and there are fast tracking options if you need to get it done more quickly. Um, you do enroll for a four month period, but as soon as you finished, could be one month, two months, could be eight months. When you're finished, you move on to your next course. So that's all part of self paced. Um, we often ask you or suggest that you meet with one of our wonderful advisors, and it's so great to see Domingo here today <laughs> uh, because sometimes students don't know self paced, class based, what do I need? What do I need to graduate if your son needs to graduate? So we often uh, recommend that you see an advisor first. Uh, but you can also email our email address. It's on the screen here, cca at bcc.ca. If you want more, more information or if you know you want self-paced, again, we'll ask you to do an assessment. So the first step will be for you to answer some questions so that we know why you want to upgrade, what's your background, what are your goals, and then we'll send you information about the assessment, which is completely free if you know you want self-paced and it's online. And uh, then we'll go from there. Uh, I'm going to add one more thing, and that is we're so busy. Uh, because of COVID, more people are at home or they've lost their jobs and they're trying to upgrade. So I would say that if you're interested in um, self pace, you should email us as, or see an advisor as soon as you can, even if you want to wait till January. Self pace, you can start anytime, but uh, our classes are quite full and we're kind of delaying some registration. So everybody gets a quality of um, instruction. Great, okay, that's it for me and i um, happy to answer any questions when we get to the Q&A part. Thank you. Thanks, KJ. Everyone, KJ is one of the most wonderful people. So sign up for her programs. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, the next topic is class-based academic upgrading. And uh, first we're gonna hear from Jolene uh, talking about science and humanities, and then Natasha will talk about math. Um, so let me get Jolene up here for you. All right, take it away. Hi everyone, my name is Jolene Lovejay and I'm the Department Leader of Humanities. Thank you, Jennifer, and thank you, KJ. As they have mentioned, um, our courses are tuition free. All of our courses for high school upgrading, including the ones that my department offers. We also call these courses adult basic education, just so that if you're not confused by that. Um, so, you know, we do this so that you can get the credits you need to apply for college or a university program, which we also offer directly in our department so that you can do high school courses with us and then go directly into a university uh, transfer program if that's something you're interested in or if you just need the credits to apply for other college programs at VCC or elsewhere or just to improve your skills like writing and math. Upgrading courses, as I've said, are held by various departments. My department, normally we'd be in person if it weren't for COVID, in class base, so with uh, defined start and end times. We still have those, but we are online like everybody else. So our courses are partly self-directed. Students use a special website, uh, it's called Moodle, to do that. And also, I'm sure you've heard of Zoom, uh, where students can get direct support one-on-one -on -one from their instructors um, via a webcam and also meet their classmates um, doing group activities and learning together. Um, so, and also just for science, which I'll speak a little bit about, um, science, everything is also done remotely. So that means that it's live on Zoom, but also some interesting um, activities as well, such as getting a kit in the mail to do experiments at home, which I also want to do, or getting instructions to do a self-guided field trip. So as you see on the screen there, there are actually three areas in College Foundation, so math, science and humanities. I'll speak a bit more about humanities and a little bit about science. So we offer right now grade 12 courses in English, law and psychology. In winter 2021, which begins in Jan January, we're going to be offering English 12 and law 12. Psychology is offered in September every year. The courses are intensive, so that means you can do them over two months, four days a week, 
or regular where you can do them for over four months, usually two days a week. Courses are also separated into two parts, parts one and two, and you do need to complete both to get the credit. However, you can complete parts one or two in any order in most situations. Uh, for science courses, there are courses in biology, chemistry, and physics, and I'll let Natasha next speak about math. Information about all of our courses are online, including the dates to reg uh, registration. So as I said, April, uh, excuse me, October 15th. Um, other information about start and end times on vcc.ca to register you will go online and i'm sure our, our lovely advisor here will help you with that uh, you can also email with if you need more information or assistance with registration and the email addresses are there on the screen for you thank you very much for your time thanks very much that was such great information uh, let's turn it over to natasha our resident math whiz. Go ahead. Hi everyone. So my name is Natasha Madrick. I'm the department leader for math class-based and I just wanted to give you a little bit of a picture of what the class-based upgrading looks like right now. As Jolene said, you'll hear a couple different phrases, adult upgrading and adult basic ed. We're still referring to the same thing. And as you're hearing, it occurs in a few different departments. We've got a youth department and two, and two different flavors of sorts for adult upgrading. You can take self-paced in the CCA department. And then in College Foundations, we're split into three different departments where we have class-based. Now in math, what I've noticed is most of our students or people who are trying to get into some other kind of program later, might be a VCC program, might be BCIT or elsewhere. And so they're trying to get their prerequisites out of the way, maybe trying to get a better grade in Math 11 or finish up their high school, whatever. I see people of all different ages and backgrounds. So if you are wondering if you're the kind of student you would see in class-based, you absolutely are. We see all kinds of folks. And my favorite thing about class-based is the community that people build. We're here to support you no matter what your goals are. And even though we're working remotely, the people who are teaching the, the class-based courses are meeting via Zoom or um, a little bit on our, our Moodle, our course website as well, but basically doing our best to build community and build that structure in for you so that you still have people to connect with. You have a learning group of sorts. And so you're learning remotely at home. You might tune in for some Zoom lessons at particular class times, but everything takes place from your home. And then you can work assignments and tests and whatnot at home as well. Uh, we do have three major start dates a year for part one of a course that would be in January and May and September. Most of our math courses, you do need to take part one before you take part two, just because the halves build on each other. But there are some special cases, especially if you have taken the class before and you're just looking to get a higher mark. So if you do want to take part two before part one, you can email me and see if that's appropriate for your situation. My email address is on the screen math at bcc.ca. So we offer math 10 through 12, and we offer those basically three times a year, math 10 part one and two, math 11 part one and two, math 12 part one and two. So probably if you wanna take a whole course, your next start date that you're looking for is January. But if for instance, you wanted to take math 11 and you felt like you were almost ready for math 11 and you just wanted to brush up, we could probably sneak you into math 10 part two if you had a math 10 already, just to get that sort of, um, back to school feel, I guess, like get used to that classroom environment. Uh, I find that oftentimes the students who want to be in class based courses are looking for some of that getting used to getting familiar with the classroom environment. They're looking for lots of support because in our classes we have time to explain things to you and there's lots of extra help sessions too. And if you want to make sure that you're finishing the course by a specific goal date and you want help staying on track, Class-based is great for that because we've got deadlines and we've got that sort of structure. So this is helpful for you if you're trying to make sure that you are finished your Math 11 by say May 2021 and you want to make sure that somebody is just keeping you in line, keeping you together with your classmates. You know, we're, we're good at that. Personally, as a learner, I think on one hand, I'm like, oh, I can do this at my, my own speed. And then when it comes right down to it, I always appreciate having people that I can bounce ideas off with and uh, learn along with at a specific time. So um, if you're in doubt of whether you want to take class-based or self-paced, as KJ was saying, 
I'd love it if you talked with an advisor because they're really good at laying out the pros and cons and helping you make those decisions too. I think that's about all I have to say about math, but uh, if you have any questions about math or science or humanities, our email addresses are there on the screen. We'd be happy to answer. Thank you. Thanks, Natasha. Um, we are really chugging right through this presentation. Um, there's a lot of uh, questions coming in to the chat, into the Q&A. Um, I'm putting them up here and I'm going to start reading them one by one. But first, um, Domingo, did you have anything you wanted to share? Um, you know what? All the information that um, students need actually are already um, well said by these amazing instructors. But anyways, I'm, I'm just one of the six academic advisors at Vancouver Community College. And just so you know, if you want to get in contact with any one of us, you can you can do it by phone or by Zoom. Um, by phone, it's quite easy. You can call 604-871-7000 and press 2. And you can um, book an appointment to speak to us. Or um, just so you know, we're you, we're going to be using our private phones. So so in other words, when we call you, it's going to be a private number. Um, so don't don't hang up or make sure to pick it up. Pick the phone call because it's important. Um, a lot of the students now uh, the waiting time could, is now about two to three weeks to um, book an appointment. However, so we added an option where you can do a uh, drop in appointments. Um, between uh, 2 to 4 p.m. Um, that's Monday through Thursday, so that's going to be easier for for you to contact us. Now again, um, my um, I would suggest that you connect with any of the academic advisors if you do want to do some upgrading or if you want to uh, complete your adult graduation diploma because we can again help you, um, you know, um, assist um in 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 your educational planning and meeting those um program requirements uh, later on should you want to um take programs at vcc or elsewhere or if you want to do uh university transfer um courses either at vcc or any other post sect hi jennifer hi jennifer um tony would you like to say something I sure would. All right, everyone, this is Tony Gladstone. She is uh, one of our fabulous Indigenous uh, Services Advisors. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, so uh, I provide the same academic um, uh, advice as our regular advisors, but only for Indigenous peoples, that is First Nations, Métis or Inuit. Um, so I do not only talk with them about uh, what the application process looks like, um, what uh, courses they will be able to start at. I also help them with um, looking for, um, I guess, funding, whether that be through uh, financial aid or through their First Nations communities uh, to pay for um, the fees that are attached to um, ABE classes, um, as well as university transfer courses. Um, uh, I'm available to help them with that. Um, the college has an enrollment policy uh, for all programs and courses. Uh, and when we talk about courses, we're talking about college foundation courses, university transfer courses, uh, qualified Indigenous applicants can register uh, two days uh, before it opens up um, to um, anyone else who's interested in, in that. If you um, are interested in reaching out to our department to see how we can be of assistance uh, to you uh, regarding application procedures, we can be reached at indigenous at vcc.ca or you could call the general number and select uh, number five. Uh, Jennifer, I'm just wondering if you can put that into the Q&A section uh, in case we have any potential indigenous applicants. There we go. I've added the email address. Ah, oh, you're wonderful. Oh, oh, and the general number, we are now in the queue under number five. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, so call VCC's main phone number and your selection number five. That's right. Yeah, so, I'll put that, I'll find that, uh, those, I forget the actual phone number, but I'll put that in the in the chat later on. Yeah, okay. That's, yeah, that's okay. And um, I've, I can work with um, potential Indigenous applicants on the requirements that might be needed, for example, for a Bachelor of uh, Nursing or um, any kind of the, the, the trades that we have, baking, uh, culinary, so uh, it's endless, um, the support that we have for our Indigenous applicants. Thank you. It really is. Thank you, Tony. We also have a wonderful gathering space on campus. I'm really hoping we can use it again soon. Uh, so am I. You should yeah. come over to a cultural workshop. The very first one, you get an invitation. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, so I have a couple other slides here to share. Um, this one just is some details about an upcoming info session. It's kind of like what we're doing now, only it's specifically about, uh, well, it's actually about all these things that we talked about today, adult upgrading, and you can um, ask even more questions and get more information um, Tuesday, October 20th at 10 a.m. You just have to register online. I believe those are happening on Zoom. Um, this is the website for VCC's advising. Um, as Domingo mentioned. Uh, okay, now let's do some let's do some Q and A. Um, I've got a dozen questions in here already, so I'm going to go back to the beginning and uh, let's uh, share this question by uh, Jeanette. She's interested in pharmacy technician program. She's missing science prerequisites, wondering how the final exams are conducted uh, for the self-paced learning. As in, does she go to VCC camps to take the final exams or where do they happen? Uh, so science question, who would like to answer that? I could answer for self-paced. All right. Is that KJ? Yeah, KJ, sorry. KJ. Okay, no problem. Okay, thanks. Great question, Jeanette. Um, Normally we do in self -paced have a testing room and the testing rooms open. Students can come in any time that works for their schedule. Of course, now we can't allow students to come on campus except for very specific uh, reasons. So for self paced testing, we're running a virtual testing room. So our, our lovely office staff are in the office and multitasking. <laughs> Um, the instructors, the homeroom instructor, sets the student up with their exam. Usually they access it through the Moodle site because all of the students are enrolled into Moodle. And um, they choose a particular time when they want to do, the students choose a particular time when they want to do their test. Um, unfortunately, right now we do have limited times, but we do have some. We're hoping to expand them. And then the student has to use their phone or some kind of camera to show that um, they're not using information that they shouldn't in order to get the answers. So we have to see their hands and the keyboard, that kind of thing. And some tests are timed, some are not timed. And so basically students are doing their tests in a time period and they are invigilated by our office staff. So that's the way it works for self-paced. Um, I should probably just add that unfortunately we don't offer self-paced chemistry but there is self-paced, uh, sorry, class-based chemistry, but self-paced we do offer biology. The, there are some field trips, field trips you go on your own. <laughs> field trip of one, it's always been that, that case, so you can uh, do that on your own, but exams are, and physics we offer, but exams are done virtually. Hopefully that made sense. Thanks, KJ. Um, um, here's, a, here's another question. It's an anonymous question. When does the earliest next semester start for academic upgrading? Uh, for academic upgrading, that's going to be for, for January uh, 2021. And registration starts, I believe, third week of October. OK, start registering mid-October for classes starting in January 2021. Correct. Excellent. Uh, next question, what are the high school prerequisites for nursing LPN? I oh. think, um, yeah. KJ had to add something about the uh, the next session. Um. <laughs> 
probably Jill's going to say the same thing. Go ahead, <laughs> I think we are. We, I think for self-paced, we are continuous enrollment. Oh, yeah. So we can bring people in each month. Um, I think, yeah, so it's just about connecting uh, with our programs to start. And, um, but every month we can bring in people in self-paced for both youth and CCA. Okay, so there's a continuous enrollment option as well. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So the um, see, uh, so that one that I mentioned is only for class base. CCA right. is continuous, so anytime they yeah. can start anytime, pretty much. That's kind of the definition of self-paced, isn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the next question is about what are high school prerequisites for nursing LPN and BSCN. Oh, good question. Um, for for the LPN, we require English 12 with a B, um, Math 11 with a C. That would be either Foundations of Math 11 or Pre-Calculus 11 with a C, and that's for, for the LPN. Uh, we do also require you to pass the Math for Health Science Assessment. Again, assessment is a test, it's not a course, but it, just in case if you want to opt for a course, there is MAT 1054 or MAT for Health Science. For the BSN, um, just so you know, the BSN requires university transfer courses, and these are uh, Biology 1120, Biology 1220. Uh, we require English 1100, English 1200, and six credits of the humanities. And these courses, particularly, um, um, biology 1120. Uh, they do require biology 11 C plus, biology 12 C plus, chemistry 11 C plus, pre calculus 11 C plus to get into the biology 1120. So those are the high school courses that we're going to look at as well. We all, we're going we're going to look at um, English 12 with 72 percent or better. Thanks. Yeah, those nursing programs. There's a lot of prerequisites for those. Oh, and, yeah. uh, were you were you saying those by memory? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're, yeah. you're impressive. You're impressive. <laughs> Let's ask another question here. Um, what fees are needed to be paid in order to take high school courses at VCC? Um, the fee, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, well, you need to pay the admission, which is uh, $35, but good news, but because if you do apply now or tomorrow, the application fee is waived. Uh, the other things that you need to pay, obviously, are the ancillary fees, like, you know, student union, um, what else? Um, your, you pass for some reason, um, even, even though it's, there's COVID, um, what else? Um, student Union, I think I must have already said that, and miscellaneous fees and so on and so forth. But again, tuition fee is free for for um, high school upgrading or even um, if even if you want to complete your high school, for instance. Yeah, these these programs are tuition free as of September 2017. That was a decision by the government. Mm -hmm. um, but there are other fees. There's a few hundred dollars you might end up paying. Correct. To yeah. for student union bus pass. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned the U pass. I should I should let everybody know that you you actually don't need to get a U pass and you don't have to get a U pass if all of your courses are online. Oh, correct. Yeah. True. Yeah. Um, here's another question by uh, Brianna. She's currently attending grade twelve. Would mm -hmm. like to take chemistry twelve. Am I allowed to do this in adult upgrade in academic upgrading? Do you want me to answer that or uh, who, <laughs> whoever answer. wants to? <laughs> yeah, there you Natasha? go. Apartment. Yeah, you can take Chem 12 in class based format. Um, that should be fine. I think you might want to coordinate with Jill in AB Youth just to make sure that um, if you were bridging back and wanting to apply this to your grade 12 graduation, that you could do that. Um, otherwise, it might just be considered something separate on your BCC transcript. But as a, as for taking grade 12 chem, if you've got your chem 11, then mm -hmm. you can take chem 12 in class based. Correct. So maybe I'll turn it over to Jillian in case you want to add anything. Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if the question is if you can take them simul simultaneously or not. Um, I guess that would dip in our program. We have we are open to that idea. Sometimes students just need one course and they're taking other courses in high school. And so if it's sort of um, 
mutually agreeable with ourselves and the school that you're attending, then we usually can work that out. Um, I guess with a class-based chemistry and a you know, in class-based high school, it would depend on the timing of that, if that would work or not. Um, but yes, you can definitely, if you're graduating as a high school student, any courses you take at BCC for your academic upgrading and you can get transferred back to your high school um, transcript. So the it just involves the records clerk or somebody at your high school uh, entering it in as an external credit, but it can still count as a credit if that's the question. Excellent. Yeah, okay. So, Brianne, I think the first step then would be to contact us. There's lots of options and we're pretty flexible about working with people in high school and out of high school both. Um, so, uh, send a message to one of those email addresses. Um, oh, by the way, the slides I'm showing right now, including the email addresses, I will be putting a copy of them into the live Q&A, a link to these slides, so you'll have these email addresses available. Um, next question, we have a couple minutes left. Um, if I want to do education and career exploration and biology 12, do I need to take an assessment first? Uh, I could answer that question, it's KJ. Okay. Yeah. Um, so for the access to careers in education, generally speaking, it requires a conversation with a coordinator there. Um, the coordinator's name is Allison and I'll after this, put her, or maybe I'll ask Jen if she can put her email address in the chat, um, but it's A. Schubert, spelt with a C -H -A -S -C -H -U -R -T, at bcc.ca, A. Schubert at bcc.ca. Um, Allison does run some courses who, for students who have English as an additional language, some conversation class. So she will, through a conversation with you by phone or Zoom, find out what your level of English is, and then she can let you know whether your English is good enough to take some of her courses. And the thing for biology, sometimes we do require biology students to do the English assessment. Uh, there's a lot of writing in biology and self-paced, and we require a certain level of English for you to be able to do that. Um, but if you're interested in biology 12, again, the best thing, just um, email cca at ucc.ca if you want self-paced. Um, and we can determine whether you need to do an assessment or not. Uh, for class-based, I believe you need to have a transcript. Is that right, Julie? The, to, to get into Biology 12 at BCC, they need, they need Biology 11. Right. Yeah, Biology 11. Okay. okay, thanks guys. I put Allison's email address there in the chat in the Q&A stream for you guys. Uh, and she was had to do with English language, is that right? Maybe. Allison is uh, access to careers in education. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all, all the others are CCA at bcc.ca. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, I want to answer one last question here, um, and then I'll get to those contest slides because we have to wrap up at 2.45. Uh, someone asked, is this the same with university transfer? Uh, so actually, I don't know, Domingo, do you want to explain the difference between a, a upgrading and university transfer? Well, the university transfer courses, obviously these are university level courses. Um, we do offer those university transfer courses at Vancouver Community College. And, and again, these, we call it, that's why it's called transfer because you can transfer them over. However, these university transfer courses, they do require high school prerequisites. As I said, if they do, if they want to do biology um, 1120 or biology 1100, they need to meet the prerequisites. So again, I'm going to repeat, it's pre, uh, biology 11 C+, plus, biology 12 C+, plus, chemistry 11 C+, plus, pre-calculus 11 C+. Plus. Um, if they do require, for example, chemistry um, 1121, which is uh, organic chemistry one, they do require um, chemistry 12 C plus, um, math 11, uh, math 12 C plus, and 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 obviously um, English 1272 or better. If I can, I speak briefly about that, Jennifer. Is there time? Uh, yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Is that uh, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm just not yeah. live yet, just waiting. I've got you. Oh, okay, great. 
Um, so this is a question about university transfer courses. So um, yes, as Domingo had said, you do need a high school graduation and also the prerequisites, which are different for each course. So sometimes some courses require more, some require less. But if our students have taken adult basic education courses with us, they often find the transition to university transfer courses with us as well uh, a lot smoother than going to another institution. Same instructors. Uh, or similar instructors, um, similar formats, and it could be a really nice bridge to that university experience. Thank you. So you're welcome. We, we teach both at VCC and just to be clear, the academic upgrading are high school level courses for the most part. Yeah. Uh, they come before the university transfer. The university transfer courses are actually first year and second year university courses sometimes uh, that you get trans you get credit for at VCC and then you can move into to like programs at uh, larger universities uh, and they're a really great option. We have a session tomorrow afternoon specifically about university transfer courses, so I'd really encourage you to um, to sign up for that one. I will be there and uh, some of these other folks will be there too talking about those. All right, let's uh, um, move on here just to finish the session. Uh, this is a screen just showing a lot of different kinds of services you can get uh, at VCC. Um, we talked about Indigenous services. Um, there's counseling services for all sorts of life issues and it's free for students. Uh, there's free tutoring if you're struggling. You just access one of our Learning Center tutors uh, and they're wonderful. And of course there's financial aid, bursaries, scholarships and all those things. A lot of money available for support. Um, I'm going to share a few links in the chat now. Um, we have, like like Domingo mentioned, there's regular advising sessions available to to people um, throughout the week. Uh, but today and tomorrow we have all day Zoom drop in advising. Um, I'm going to put that Zoom link in our chat right now. Uh, so that's available until 5 p.m. You'll get uh, a super helpful person to talk to just like Domingo. Uh, in that session. OK, here is your uh, discount code. So uh, normally we charge $35 to apply for any of our programs until October 16th. So there's a little bit of time yet to use this code. The code is INFO1020, INFO1020 to get your $35 off your application. And there is your entry code for your chance to win $1,000 in VCC tuition. So where do you put this code? You can find uh, an entry form on our, our website, bcc.ca slash experience. But I'm actually also going to paste um, um, the link to the entry form in the chat right now. So uh, it is a survey. You, you fill out the survey. It's pretty short. It's about your experience here at the event. You enter that code. Uh, the code for this particular session is skills, S-K-I-L-L-S, and that will let you enter to win. If you attend more sessions at Experience VCC, you have more chances to win. You'll get a different code to enter uh, in the form. We're out of time, so thanks everyone for coming. And hope to see you in another session soon. Thank Take you. Care. Bye. Guys, stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.